I remember an old uh, therapist uh, in a session and I was really low at this point in my life and uh, I'm just like, I, what's the point? What's the, that's, that's one of the biggest like feelings that I personally get when I'm extremely low. A, I can't remember what it's like to be happy. I can't. And I don't know when I'm going to be happy again and feel okay again. That's the scariest part. But that question, that feeling of what's the point of all of this? What do I have to gain from, from living? And that's what the question is about here. Our friend says, what's the point of me taking up space, resources? Why not just end it all? So back to the therapist. I said, I, what's the point of me? What's the point of me being here? Nobody values me. No one cares about me. And she looked at me and she said, when you go to work, you see homeless people on the street. I'm like, yeah. Do they have value? I s and I thought about it. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, they're people. And your boss. What about your boss? Does she have value? Yeah, she's, she's my boss. She's, she's a person. What about the nurse at the hospital? Does he have value? Yes. Yeah. People at homeless shelters, people who work at the church, your next door neighbor, that old lady down the street that you see walking up and down every day getting her daily exercise with her dog, does she have value? Even though you don't know her, even though you have no idea what she does on a regular basis, does she have some value? I said, yeah, of course, she's a person. Our friend who sent, sent me the question is having a challenge, having trouble realizing her own value on this rock in the middle of space. She goes on to discredit herself to the point where she no longer values the complete essence of, of what it is to be a person, to be a human on this earth. It's a very special thing to, to be, just to be. And I don't want this to be all philosophical and, and, you know, up here somewhere. It's the best way I'm trying to explain it. What she needs to know is this, and I hope you're watching this, is, and she, she's having trouble. She's on different medications and things like that. Excuse me. So, what I've been telling myself, because it's been a low period in the winter time and things, and my mood always picks up in the evenings. And what I tell myself from when I get up at six to even noon, I wrote down on a cue card beside my bed. I said, Scott, right now, your thoughts are not true. Do not believe what you think. Get a cue card, write that down. Your thoughts are not true right now. Do not believe what you think. Because at this point in your life, because you're trying different medications, your brain chemistry is off, you're trying to figure a few things out, now is not the best time to believe in your thoughts. Because I'm telling you right now, those thoughts, they're not true. They're not. You do have value. There is purpose in your life. It's just covered with a black sheet of depression right now that is very, very, very heavy. And I know you're going through a very difficult time. From the email you sent me, I share that empathy with you and that challenge. But don't believe in your thoughts right now. Don't give in to that black monster in your brain saying you're no good saying that you don't have purpose, saying death would be easier. Don't listen. 
Listen to me when I say those thoughts are not true and those thoughts are not you. Your mind is not always your friend. It will be again, but right now, take care of the chemistry and then you'll start believing your thoughts because your thoughts, these negative thoughts won't stick anymore. They're sticking. See, what happens when you feel good is I'll have a thought and say, uh, I have no purpose. What's the point of this? And it won't stick. It'll float away. I'm like, oh, that's not true. That'll float away. What happens when your brain chemistry is off in this point in time is that you're going to get a thought just swimming by and this is, uh, what am I doing with my life? I have no purpose. I have no value. I have no purpose. I have no value. It's, it's, it's stuck and it's there. And then you try to figure it out. And then you follow this thought down a whole bunch of other connected thoughts. You try to figure it out. It's like a whole chain link you're trying to figure out then. And this leads to this. The thoughts are sticking. So the big point of this video right now is don't believe your thoughts at the moment. Make a conscious effort. If it comes in and it stays, come in with another thought saying, you know what? You may stay there. Say hello. You're in. Okay. Brain chemistry's off. I can't really get you out right now. I'm trying. But at least I know, here's another thought, that you're not true. That I'm not going to believe it right now. Scott said it's not true. And it's not. And you're going to get to the point where you're going to realize your purpose again. You're going to realize that you do have value. You do. The homeless person has value. The person across the world in Europe has value. My boss has value. That old lady down the street has value. And you do too. We're all in this together. This is a holistic approach to humanity. We're all connected in one way. Same species. You're going to get through it. Don't believe everything you think.